I often get the question, what can I do to improve my painting? And after I look at their portfolio, my answer is almost always some variation of the following. Draw more from observation. Digital painting is confusing. There's no getting around that. But it's also really exciting. So a common problem is impatience. You're so excited to get out there and paint dragons and space marines that you might rush into digital painting too quickly. But everything about digital painting is strongly rooted in traditional drawing. So if you're feeling dissatisfied with your painting results, you should probably mix in some drawing time into your practice. Bad perspective is one of the particular issues that people struggle with at the beginning. And bad perspective is one of the quickest ways to kill a drawing. So let me show you a quick drawing exercise that'll help you practice that scary word, perspective drawing. All you need is a sheet of white paper and a small box of some sort. And then using only lines, you're going to draw those two objects in space. And you get bonus points if you set up a lamp and draw the cast shadow as well. You can think of this as a shape, just like the box. This is a deceptively simple exercise because it's all about seeing precise angles and spatial relationships. So take a look here at these arrows that I've added to my drawing. See how the box on the left is square with the paper? So what you end up with are lines that recede towards the vanishing point in parallel. But the box on the right is at an odd angle. So what you have is a different relationship between the paper and the box. These are the sorts of relationships that you'll want to look for while doing this exercise. You're not trying to make pretty drawings. You're training your eye to see spatial relationships. It's not glamorous, but fundamental drawing exercises like this one are really crucial if you want to improve your digital paintings. And if you're just starting out, I might suggest not using the computer for this challenge. At least not at first. Go find some pencils and an eraser. Drawing on the computer is great, but sometimes it's good to eliminate a variable from the equation. If you're having trouble with both perspective and with Photoshop, you're probably not going to have fun with this assignment. So instead, take the computer out of the equation. Do your first five, or maybe even ten, on paper, and then try the same exercise in Photoshop. So if you guys have any other basic perspective drawing assignments, like this one, that you can do at home without any extra special tools, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Thanks for watching.